Welcome to the Rap Wrap Up. I'm your boy Queso. I'm joined by Spill Mills. Spill Mills, don't say nothing. We the new Death Row. We the new motherfucker Drake Josh. We get right into it. This podcast brought to you by Meet Me at Freesham Park. Meet Me at Motherfucker Freesham Park out now. Spill Mills, say something to the people. Uh, good evening, every motherfucking buddy. Mm-hmm. All right, we out here. We just, we just, you know, just getting merch checks around. Getting the merch. Oh, where my shit at? Show them what the merch check looks like, nigga. We got cash it out. Stupid shit. Go show them what a merch check look like, nigga. I just cashed it out on some true religion. You know, that's all right. Niggas. Niggas. Well, look, today we are getting into the motherfucking... Dwight Howard and, and Jaden Smith and all these motherfuckers. That nigga gay. Just... That nigga gay. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. I ain't joking. Why, 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 is that a la- why, why is that a laughing batter? That's the real question. They got dead ass. What's the question? <laughs> you said that you gay. That nigga gay. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> that nigga gay. <laughs> well, all right, it, go ahead. It, it might be... Like they lying, it might be lying on Dwight because this tranny came out saying, saying like, "Yo, <laughs> this is why Dwight ain't averaging thirteen points no more." <laughs> but this is the like exact he... reason you're not averaging a double double, nigga. Yeah. Get... You're supposed to get married, bro. Like you're supposed to have a LeBron life and just only fucking. Well, hey, on the what's side. Wrong? what about you? See, D Rose ain't married, and he came out better than he ever been. Well, he got a girl and a kid. It's kind of... He's still Had his niggas that. coming through the window. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay, back, let's get back. They framed him. <laughs> D-Rose fucked Let, that. Let's get back on top. Let's get back on top of my bed. So, uh, <laughs> so she she probably lied because she lied on some... Apple like, juice. I think it was Playboy Cardi that... Uh, that Bro. It, it was the same accusation. Okay. Motherfuckers always quick to take a side. Why are we just sure Playboy Cardi ain't gay? Has Playboy Cardi said he's not gay? Uh, I guess not. So why are you so quick to assume his sexuality? No, it's that it's that she came out as saying it was fake or something like or he. I don't know. I don't know the pronouns. Super so head, super. For that one. Yeah, you definitely gonna get in trouble because it's an it. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. It's definitely whatever gender they choose to identify with, because in modern society, gender isn't a thing that's determined by your penis or vagina. It's actually determined on what you want it to be. But what are the other pronouns that they be calling them? I don't know the, that list. It's just that's it's not the, even he or she. Well, it's just he or she because I guess they identify as just a he or she. Look, I'm gonna just say the LGBTQs. LGBTQ. Yeah. Throw them L's up, nigga. <laughs> we rock with LGBTQ over here, Charlie. What you mean? Well, the Dwight Howard, he he might be gay. So, but he. I don't think he he's just out getting getting glute surgery right now, so you never really know. Okay, see, 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 <laughs> that part is crazy. And I'm not even gonna act like I don't got no problem with homosexuality. We hold it down for the LGBTQ over here on the H O D E. You feel me? No E, just H O D, but hella D was what Dwight was getting. Hold up. So you I just think it's crazy a nigga get his ass blown out. Point blank, period. I think getting your ass blown out is funny, straight homosexual i remember there was a time x-pac he's a professional wrestler his, his move is the bronco buster he'll jump on the he'll jump you'll be on the turnbuckle like this is shit and xbox that jumped up threw his nuts all in your face and one time he did that shit and missed and tore his asshole open i laughed for a good 45 minutes when i heard <laughs> about this shit because that ain't a body part that's supposed to just be getting torn you feel me? <laughs> my nigga, ain't that shit crazy? <laughs> no, no. That shit done me a little weird. <laughs> yeah, but what you like maybe that's. It's. Maybe it was just a little hard. And you seven out. foot, nigga? You would assume wearing it out, I mean, I don't know. But I would assume based on how pussies work, you know, the more it gets, although it does regenerate, I'd assume it don't regenerate. All the way, but no homo, but like, they t- they blew that nigga ass out, bro. I've seen some of the post defense Dwight can do. I done seen him, <laughs> I done seen him really take some checks and elbows. 
So I just don't believe I don't believe that part. I believe his ass I believe his asshole is intact. Well, Pause go hobo. Yeah, I don't know this Ooh, the streets watching. <laughs> the streets the streets watching me right now. I ain't even gonna lie, I'm on a chopping block. And all I can do is keep it one hundred. I don't believe I don't believe Dwight Howard's asshole got blown out. I just don't believe it. What are you talking about? This podcast took a completely different twist. <laughs> This our problem. Uh, uh, <laughs> look, we got a, a platform uh, uh, to talk to all our subscribers and shit. Yeah. Let's keep it as that. We can only be what we are. So Dwight gets that ass blown out. Keep going. Did he or did he not? Now you're on, on, the, on the fence. He did it, but I'm just saying based off of what you were saying. Like, continue talking. He didn't. Maybe, maybe if... It wasn't where she has a prior history of lying. I don't know, but if it and Dwight hasn't really said anything about her, or maybe none the public has really been said about it by him. So did the tranny have a big dick? All right, I'm done. Pause. No, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Keep going. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro, but that nigga's seven foot, bro. Fuck that. That nigga's tall as hell. What? What? <laughs> Dwight? I don't want to know. I'll let you know. Oh my God! That nigga, God, Dwight, no. But it's okay though. Like Dwight, I don't know why it seems believable. You know, Dwight just looks like that kind of guy. That that nigga got some real long eyelashes. No homo. That it would be a little believable. I right, if you know, they did a little picture of Dwight, it was the craziest shit, bro. They had a video because you know. Okay, so the the the, the um the transvet the the girl the you know. Bro, the, the nigga with a dick. I mean, the bitch with a dick. I'm going to call her that once because I don't respect her because she outed my nigga Dwight. But uh, where's Dwight at the Hawks? Uh, he's with the motherfucking Wizards. You know, that nigga gets traded three times a season. He probably be doing gay shit in the locker room. But hold on. So the tranny outs him and it's like, uh, you know, calls Dwight and it's like, you know you like sucking dick, Dwight. You know you like getting fucked in your ass, Dwight. And Dwight. <laughs> that nigga response was nuts. It was fucking crazy. This nigga talk about, I just don't remember. <laughs> Yo, bro, to keep it a stat, when you, you've had a girl, when you get caught, because only your girl could put has put me in this kind of predicament. I've never been fucked in the ass. But, like, you know, you get caught cheating or something with another female. Yeah. And and they, they're reading the shit off. And, like, there's too much proof for you to outright say you didn't do it. So my nigga got to catch that amnesia quick. <laughs> like, I don't recall that being in there. Let me see. What? Me? <laughs> That's crazy. That nigga had one of them, what? That's crazy moments. But like, so how'd you feel about the phone call? Like, what? Do niggas agree this shit was crazy? I, well, Dwight just doesn't know how to hold his, you know, sexual addiction. And that nigga was at a <laughs> sex party. Yo, Milk, you didn't even give the they story. They be doing that in Hollywood. <laughs> On the block, we call that a train. Washington, D.C. Uh, on the block, we call that a train. It's crazy niggas get money and start calling shit some shit that it really is. So y'all was in this bitch running trains for real, for real. <laughs> y'all was in there straight flipping, my nigga. High five. You know I mean? But then you took it left. But I'm just saying, like, so is a nigga who likes a tranny gay or bisexual? Or is there his own class? I bet there's their own classification at this point. They probably do have their own class because I know a motherfucker not saying no names. I don't know if I've told you this story. Momo. I don't know if I don't know if you subscribed or not too. But this motherfucker said he only like getting his dick sucked. So, but like if it's a tranny, it's okay because she identify or you know she identifies as a woman. You know. And so I said, "You gay," but then there's his gay friend <laughs> that was also in the car. <laughs> was like, "Nah, you gay? You not no bi, motherfucker? You you not you not you're like he was trying to say he was straight even, 
but that he's you know, straight, was, that he's straight for getting his dick sucked by a tranny. Yeah, like where it's like that's a woman two, right There's there. two questions. First, in society, is so is a transvestite a woman? Like that's a hundred percent a woman. Because in them terms, if it's yes, then no, he's not in fact gay. <laughs> now we have the second, probably a little more realistic option, but we realistic. but we fuck with the LGBTQ, so we gonna let y'all y'all if y'all option A that shit will believe it, but option B you're you're not a man no more, but you're not really a woman. But this is in option B. I'm not saying I believe in this way more believable option. Just in respect hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And women, let me, hold on, let me clarify. Shut women. up before you get me caught up by the LGBTQs talking about I don't like them. I fuck with them. Listen, what I'm saying is if 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 if, if you aren't women, right, in this option two, then yes, a man getting his dick sucked by this not a woman is gay. Well, not gay, but that shit ain't straight. Look, I'm going to just chalk it up to this. It ain't gay, but it ain't straight, nigga. I, so y'all take it how you want to. Fuck you, man, because we fuck with the LGBTQs. But, nigga, that shit ain't straight, though. It's, 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 that nigga gay. Cause, <laughs> I'm just playing. What else can you say? You know what I'm saying? It's like, if, and he was like, he put it in the, in the context of, like, I would never suck no dick. So that's but I get my dick sucked by cuz. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, you know. You know when you're doing something crazy and you got to, like, find something that's worse than what you're doing? But your <laughs> shit already so left. Ain't no worse than this. Talking about, yeah, I'm robbing the bank, but we ain't kill no grandmas, nigga. <laughs> of all the grandmas. We grandma's fuck with the grandma co- community. We, that would be sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, B, that's how he was playing it. Like, that's gross. What? No. <laughs> like, I'm just teaching my kid that, like, if you, you know, touch, you'll put your mouth on another man's, he said, a quiet penis. Then. <laughs> You know, you know, like it's only us in the car, bro. We already been talking about this yeah. for a good couple minutes. You trying to deny and shit, but <laughs> yeah, but still, Dwight, he probably be 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 going and throwing. So it's like, I, what can you say? Going and Dwight. throwing. He he's. I ain't never heard. I, of that I can't. <laughs> I can't hate you for doing it, but it's like I can't say you straight no more in my eyes of, oh, well, now, oh. You, now you always have that asterisk of, remember when that tranny, okay, <laughs> we doing see, a podcast I'll... about it shit. <laughs> okay, but we are doing a podcast about it, and you have a point, but only because people make it a thing. I don't give a fuck who fucks Dwight Howard to keep it a stack. And if you do give a fuck completely only based on who fucks Dwight Howard, none of it is because it's funny or because this nigga seven foot. If you're really in there like, man, does he be fucking, who he be fucking, do you get? Let's deal with that process. That's, no, it's only because it's funny. <laughs> That's, yeah, yeah that, okay, like, but okay, yeah, of course, it's <laughs> hilarious. And so... But I'm not even saying, like, you're gay as it's a bad thing, but it's like, you ain't gay, but you curious, nigga. You dummy. You're curious, so, like, because, why are you interested? Because you already... Honestly, like, I want to say something. I don't think we should use... Because this is the problem with what that training did. Like, all right, yeah, we truly fuck with the LGBTQs over here. We, we, we... Why is she trying to explain... Listen, we gonna get this LGBTQ bag, Milk. Stop ignore. Stop interrupting me. These gay niggas gonna fucking send this check. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> anyways. Anyways. Listen, girl. What I'm saying is... Um... If... Nigga too busy trying to get this LGBTQ bag. <laughs> nigga, that's where the money at. Fuck you talking... Dwight Howard figured out what Charlemagne the God and all these... Out of nowhere, pro homosexual gay people figured out gay people get money, and they fuck with well, their own. <laughs> well, why is why is the trainee trying to expose it? Like, oh, you're that you're bad for d- being what we are. See, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Well, the trainee doesn't identify itself as gay if it thinks it's a woman. It thinks it's straight. You know, 
but like <laughs> we already established <laughs> that's it. possibility it one. ain't straight <laughs> that's possibility one see that's what you got to say if it ain't gay bro that's fine but it's not straight <laughs> <laughs> oh we about to lose our it. subscribers <laughs> i thought we could go about this shit gracefully and i started hitting this blunt <laughs> i could lie well, for real. Well, it's because they it, they're getting money out here because Ooh, that get money and they hold it it's down because that dwight howard video of just charlamagne the guy talking about it instantly went to millie you know what i'm saying it's like people realize that being kind of flexible, like some young thug, like some little Uzi type putting on the dresses, people that gets clicks. And that's what's fueling this kind of fire. Exactly. So it's like, as simple as you can't even have your own opinion on it. But I, I that's not the norm. Like, like you know what I'm saying? A lot of shit you be saying, like when we was talking about this, I was like, man, you sound a little crazy. Like, like but I mean, always live your truth. And that's all we have is our truth. But like, you might sound a little bit like a homophobe, my nigga. But I was... <laughs> But it's like you get backed into this corner of, well, you don't want to live your truth. It's like as much as they're living their truths as that, you should live your truth for as you feel what's right or wrong about it. But then you also have to put on you will be ostracized because just because it's your truth don't make a motherfucking right. It might be right to you, but motherfuckers ain't, might not fuck with it. So it's like, OK. You might have these feelings, but it's like, bro, I'd be, I be going back to if you looked in the fucking 1920s or 10s or whatever, a lot of these people who were homophobic probably would have been racist too. Probably wouldn't have liked me. Yeah, the KKK was against the gays too. So it's like, I'm not going to hold y'all down. I don't stand for any kind of oppression. Nowhere. Because, you know, like, I'm ashy right now. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? On this beautiful black skin. And we, we were the hell down people for so long. Why the fuck we holding other people down? If you want to be gay, go be gay, my nigga. I mean, I don't see no problem with it. I mean, just don't come over here doing nothing. I mean, you know, I'm cool on that. But you want to go do some <laughs> You want to go do some gay shit? Go do some gay shit. You, Milk, you want to go do some gay shit? Not with no. me, but by yourself. <laughs> Yeah. How do you feel about the whole topic? We gotta get to the, the nitty gritty. Well, it was even with like old people being against gays, it was kind of on like the religious tip of like, oh, it's against God because you, you don't like gays. No way you don't like gays, and you don't believe in God. <laughs> I'm making a movie about it. <laughs> well, you so you don't like gay people. You? No, I, it's not that I don't like gay people. It's that I don't, I'm not comfortable with a bunch of gay shit happening in front of me where it's like, I don't want to Okay, be, well then let them be gay and they'll be able to be gay in the crib. You know, they just recently will they be. They be gay they in the crib. No, I'm but, saying but like, hold on. Because people hate gayness, they couldn't be gay in the crib. Because you niggas wouldn't let these niggas get married, they couldn't go do this gay shit in their bedroom where it belongs. Well, they could, but they couldn't, you know. They couldn't just get married for tax reasons. All right, all right, we're not gonna get it to the whole that marriage is it just it for the well, symbol of marriage. You know what I'm saying? If y'all niggas was consummation of marriage, if you let hate fill, breed and live, it turns into violence. I don't hate gay people. It's that my gay friends that I used to have was playing the gay Damn, you, too heavily on me. Whereas, like my black I don't, friend, I, I don't. I ain't racist. Be... I got black friends. How's that fit? That's crazy. I never thought you'd be the one to say that. I ain't racist. I got black friends. I don't hate. I say that. I don't hate gay play people. My gay friends. You see how you try to throw no, that saying, in for well, validation? I said, that, I said the. I I even used to have my gay friends. That's what I don't have gay friends. No Momo, more because I don't have his. I'm not friends. Momo with him is no more kissing on your neck. Gay shit on me. <laughs> Let's tell he the truth. It. Momo was kissing. He pulled some gay shit off me, and I was like, "Well, now we can't be cool no more because now you're trying to get into my space." Let's tell uh, the when truth. It's, uh, when it's forced and shit, yeah. that's right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's tell the truth. I don't. You don't. You Momo know, started a, kissing a on your neck, <laughs> and and you start talking about happened. you don't this like gay days. What? When did this even come? Where did this hatred for gay people come from, Lil? 
<laughs> selling you out on the podcast like again. <laughs> I'm saying I'm not. <laughs> I'm not saying I hate gay people. I'm saying I can't be friends with a gay person that's trying to be gay. That's with me, crazy. That's trying to force. That, I was trying to rape me with gayness. What am I supposed to do if you if a fat bitch kept trying to rape you? Listen here, with, honky. Yo, honky, honky. <laughs> You like black people? I love black people. You you think that your ideologies in this moment right now are right? You wouldn't think so if you didn't say them right now, right? I believe they're right. Okay. Go ahead. I don't want to be... I that I don't. No, don't go off my some... point. Don't go off the question. Go ahead if you're going to keep talking on the question, but don't start doing other shit to get away from our point. Listen, I'll, t- I'll, I'll let me get to my point. I'll stop asking you questions. You don't like gay people or you don't want gay people in That's front of you. You don't want gay shit happening in front of you because you have been taught that it was wrong. If you were taught early it was normal, you would have never thought this. If off rip from birth, all you saw was people, guys kissing girls and guys kissing guys, while you wouldn't have wanted to kiss a guy, I'm not saying that, you wouldn't feel any type of way. That's all I'm saying because it would have been normal. Your problem with it is like, what the fuck is this, right? Now I'm telling you with that mentality, if we go back a hundred years, bro, you would have been calling me nigger because it's the, oh, no, bro, this just this just isn't. Like, this just, hey, I don't want this around me. I don't see what it. I say. You don't want it around you, right? Because of what? what? I Why don't is, you? Want... I don't want. So you would let a gay person kiss on your neck and Fuck shit. Fuck no. Would not be that fr- nigga about to get And you would not be friends with him I after that shit. I ain't letting but a girl ain't finna kiss on my neck. When no. That's what I'm saying. If I'm getting, if I'm, if a, if a friend of mine, that Damn, I, I was already okay with being gay. I, that I was so already you knew okay he was with, gay the whole cool. time? No, this I'm talking about another guy. I, Momo Hella came gay out to me that friends. one time. <laughs> Momo came out to me right at that time, but then this next, he was like a producer of mine, and he and then he all of a sudden came out of gays, and I was like, yeah, we can still be cool on some business tip, and I was like, I just be cool, you know what I'm saying? And then he pulled some gay shit, and I was like, man, he, he like motherfucking t- like touched the, the my chin in the car, was so like did some like, and I was like. All right, yeah, you gotta let me out. Drop me, turn me, <laughs> turn around, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> and so I was like, but even if I said if if I'm if I already set a boundary and you cross that boundary, now we can't be friends anymore because you still look at me as like a fucking snack and shit. I can't be cool with that. Yeah, and that you know? was that gay person. Do you are you so fucking like? What's, I didn't say I hate gay people. No, I said I don't. Well, I'm not comfortable with them being gay to me. Oh, that's whole. That's way different. Hell yeah, nigga. I ain't. I'm, hell no. I ain't finna be out here doing that. That's not cool. Don't just be being gay to me. But what do you mean yeah. by being gay? <laughs> As in like <laughs> kissing on your neck or some gay shit. Don't do. He didn't kiss on my neck. He. he <laughs> <laughs> you guys yeah, for the too crucial. <laughs> You gonna get the story fucked up. <laughs> I remember you specifically saying this nigga kissed on your neck. I'm I called him right after because I was like, this man will leave. I'm just gonna act like I'm, like I'm just gonna talk to you the rest of the time. <laughs> I, 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 would, I, I, don't know, I, re- I, re- I remember like that. I remember him kissing on your neck and grabbing your butt yeah. and you pushed him. <laughs> That's what I remember. I was playing two Niggas guys. lying on the podcast, Milk. You gotta get this. This man lying. You lying on me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Flying on okay, so, <laughs> Flying on you, bro. Hey, you, you just want to paint. You want to paint me as a rapist and a racist every podcast. Well, you are the you're the homophobe. That's crazy. <laughs> no, I'm That's not. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm saying what happened was I was playing 2K. All right. Story to change this, from the car to 2K. <laughs> No, the car was the other guy, the, the guy that came out to me. Bro, how many my niggas producer. have a sexually assaulted you? Because <laughs> this list. It was, it was two this summer. It, it was these back to back. And I was like, on some bullshit. It was them jeans. I, I told you I to can't trust milk. Them. You remember what I told you to throw away the white jeans? I, I can't trust no one be a friend. What? I heard it, so. Well, look. 
You know I'm paranoid. <laughs> Someone coming to kiss my neck. What are you talking about? I need to go get a tether neck. What are you talking about? Well, so this was the rap wrap up. Spill milk is a homophobe. H O D fucks with LGBTQ. I'm your boy K. So the one and only. This podcast was brought to you by. I ain't even gonna do it again because I don't even want my album tied to this hateful ass shit. No, <laughs> you a hateful young man, bro. And I expect you, si- you sided with me saying you don't want gay shit happening to you. Okay, so before we wrap, people. what about what do you mean by gay shit? Would you, is it cool if niggas make out in front of you? I'm not gonna be watching my nigga I'm from just Texas. Turn my ass around, my nigga <laughs> from Texas for real, for real. <laughs> I'm just go. I'm gonna be like, wow, that's some gay shit. I'm gonna just walk in the other room. What if a bitch and a nigga make out? I'm not gonna be watching them. It's like, either way, I'm gonna be like, oh, that's some that's some straight shit. I'm gonna go in. Nigga, I've been talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what if it's a bitch and a bitch making out? All right, so this is a story. Because <laughs> then, I'm like, that's just double straight. You know what I'm saying? In my eyes. <laughs> it's not like it's like it's a gay. The gay it's and like, the gay counteract. <laughs> it's like two opposites. Double negative. <laughs> it's double negative. And spilled milk is still a homophobe. Fuck if you try to wrap it all up good. I'm still on his ass. Not literally. I'm not going to use that that phrase in this podcast it's gonna be taken on but how you think um or um why you think the world's so gay why you why you think this happens so much i think it's 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 a it originally started not originally started because you know people have been gay but in mainstream society where it's become part of fashion and part of part of shock culture (laughs) Balenciaga. <laughs> and Balenciaga was doing their little... The high heels, you know, the high heel <laughs> boots that was also leggings for niggas. I that feel, shit was ridiculous. I feel like, like why, why is it a conspiracy theory that they have to have a public shaming ritual of putting men in dresses and, and like, degrading men? So we're, Hey, that's like glass that's, half empty mentality. Maybe it's not degrading. But it is crazy how it's always black men y'all always want to. Now, fuck that. Let's get to the truth. I'm done trying to make spill milk sound like a homophobe. Y'all niggas trying to make niggas look gay. You know why? Because they don't want the the idea of a black man to be the strong, even something you're scared of, like, you know, factor to society. Because yeah. it's too alluring to everybody else. They'd rather make you the, they try it. When weed wasn't cool, they threw it on us. It got cool. Rock. Y'all try to take it. Y'all took it. You know what I'm saying? Anything bad. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Try to make niggas look like rapists, murderers, killers. You know what I'm saying? Everything. Which not saying that there isn't, but we're not going to act like there ain't none of y'all that are like that. But you know what I'm saying? Spumo, why do you hate black people? I love black people. Okay, so back to my point. Uh, <laughs> Got to keep you on your toes. <laughs> So you can get a little pop quiz in there. See if I can just <laughs> slip out that you racist on accident. And I'll fit a loop. A the, question. I'll fit a loop the clip. <laughs> That's going to be a whole episode. Just spell my view like black people. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. <laughs> then we go remix it. Throw a beat on that bitch. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Spell my, why do you like black people? Spell my, why do you hate black people? Spell my, why do you hate black people? I hate them. I hate them. But, you know, but look, why do you think it is that they want black men to look like, you know, homosexuals well the the ruling class which is still ruling your uncle and now no <laughs> <laughs> people people ruling the tops of multi-billion dollar businesses mm-hmm. are still i believe racist old men so it's it's like it still has your donald sterling's of the world right where if your art is your soul you know what i'm saying if 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 a cook was racist the meal, the pasta he cooked up with you would have just like a hint of, of racist. This shit it's gonna just be like, like mayonnaise. It's, it's gonna be like it's <laughs> Mayo, you're always Miracle gonna get whip. the and America was made whip cream, was, was made about, uh, of that white shit. conquerors and invaders. Yeah. Uh, that's what that's where we're getting our knowledge from as people who built our colleges. That's so dope. Saying, so you're saying we were they were go ahead, finish and then I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm saying you're gonna have 
you're going to have people, we already wrapped it up three times, so people forgot we, <laughs> we had a lot more to this podcast. 30 minutes. <laughs> we go live, and if you're still watching, comment below, and you get the chance to win a free Spilt Milk t-shirt. Watch to the end for a chance to win a Spilt Milk t-shirt. See, now that's an ascent. We need that. Yeah. Fuck, fuck with us. You know, we, all, we, we got, we kind of... We wanna we wanna get on an incline throughout the whole video because we 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 start we the new death row we really talk to, <laughs> then we get into you are racist let's make it <laughs> let's break down the schematics for our podcast it's the, you gotta stay till the end because that's the best part where we sum everything up in the solution and it makes sense because if you just watch it you might click out at twelve minutes and I feel bad for you because you didn't under, you didn't get all this. Yeah, you, didn't, you didn't. We really had to explain ourselves because we got a lot more to this. Yeah, there's a lot to this. <laughs> where, where it's still that grading men. What we were originally talking about was is why is that? Do I how I get a booty hole blow out? Why is that funny to people? Where okay, it gets views, so that's why they do it, so that they can laugh at them. Why is that funny if people accept LGBTs like that? You know what I'm saying? The truth is people don't accept LGBT. But it's not even like this. It's like this. When I don't hate black people, but when niggas do some nigga shit, I say niggas. Because point blank period, it's just like, you know. And I think it's funny. Like, I don't think every black person likes uh, 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 chicken and grits and chitlins and uh, and motherfucking uh, 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 and grains. But if I walk into your crib, like, and it's not Thanksgiving and you just eating this shit, I'm finna laugh and say niggas and go get a plate because that shit have gas. But I'm, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I'm saying, so it's just because I'm okay with it doesn't make it any less funny. If I walked into your house and opened your fridge and it's filled with mayonnaise, I would laugh. I'd laugh. I'd probably call all my black friends and be like, bro, what I'll be telling you niggas? Like, this is, this, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Milk that got rogue. But, like, <laughs> So you think gay people are funny? No, but I think blowing... People acting gay is funny. No, I think blowing out a seven-foot black... A seven-foot athlete if it's a good asshole joke, it's to the point where he had to go surgery and he have surgery and can't hoop no more. I think that's a little... There's a little zing in there. And if you're gay and you can't find the sense of humor in that, then I'm like, I'm sorry, you're not a funny person. That's all. Like, well, You're just personally not a funny person. Well, do you not think... It goes against Christianity. I think a lot of shit goes against Christianity, but I know to answer that question as a Catholic goes upon goes against uh, Christianity. You know what I'm saying? And as a Catholic, when you sin and you know your sin, it's called a moral sin or a mortal sin, and you, you know what I'm saying. That's that's much worse than the things you don't know you're doing. So it's like you know because you sin every day. So if I know that to cast judgment and to hate another person is a sin. I can't hate or cast judgment. Now, I might also say in the Bible that that it's not okay. But in my eyes, as a loving Christian, as a God-fearing Christian, someone who loves everybody, yeah, I think it's okay. And if it's not, that's in between. That's between that person and God, because this God's word was interpreted by man, and that's the flaw in religion. So you know what I'm saying? We can go a whole different episode about that, but like. Who's God to say? The judgment said to flood all the all the sinners, but <laughs> and you know what I'm saying. If you go to the Old Testament, there's some real wild shit going on there. So like, if you know, I don't think it's bad. And if it is bad, who's to say? I didn't write the Bible, and got on Judgment Day when or when you die, you and God to get that straight, nigga. But who am I to hate you while you're here? Because I know that's a sin. Who am I to even think less of you, nigga? I've been, we've been through that. And we're not, I'm not going to do it again. If if we, you know, Charlemagne always says a wise, a, a, a smart man learns from his mistake. A wise man learns from the mistake of others. In this very moment, that's very true because like, what are we going to do? Start a gay, gay, gay and kill all the gay people? Like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing that. And I'm not supporting that. And I'm not supporting any mentalities that could feed into a beast like that. It all starts from me saying, hey, this is weird. Then it turns to this is weird, to I hate it, to I hate it, to, you know what I'm saying? Let's get, let's deal with this problem. You know what I'm saying? Let's deal with this thing I hate. I ain't finna do all that, nigga. 
We out here getting spill milk brand checks. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And and I've been working on an album, you know what I'm saying? The two, the motherfucking two is about to drop. This was the rap wrap up. All right. I appreciate that last one for being here. Just like, look, shout out to all my hoes. Shout out to all my uh, LGBTQs. All right. So, you know, just drop the like with shit. You know, fuck with me. Drop the like and shit. Drop the subscribe and shit. Drop your fucking panties, bitch. And we can be cool. I'm out.